Welcome back everybody. Uh, we're back in the guest room. We got our taping and floating done. Now we're gonna start our uh, texture, our knockdown texture. Um, picked uh, everything up that from Lowe's Home Depot. We're using Homex wall and ceiling texture. It's a dry powder. You mix it with water. Um, goal is to make it, you want your, your, your mixture to be like pancake syrup. So here we go, we'll start to make it. You can get you a pink, you can get you a stir from Lowe's Home Depot, wherever, on a drill. Amazon. Or Amazon. Um, or you can make your own with a piece of uh, all thread, an old blade, cut the blade in several places and bend it. And then use a nut to hold, a couple nuts to hold the blade at one location. We got this from Amazon. So we're gonna start by taking a red solo cup and just start throwing it in the bucket. The box will give you your mixing and measuring instructions. I'm not going to use, I don't believe I'm going to use that whole bag, so it's going to be played by just texture and what I know what it's supposed to be like, which is a pancake mix. So I'm just dumping until I think I'm going to have enough to do the walls. which we'll go with this right here. It's about a half a bag. So I got my powder in the bucket. I got me some water. I'm gonna put some water in there. And we're gonna see where that takes us. But there's not enough water, so we'll go back in here with some more water. If you get it too thin, you can always add a little bit of extra mud. If it's too dry, add a little extra water. batter mix All right that's good to me so <clears throat> this is our central pneumatic hopper we got it from uh, Harbor Freight I think it was right around 19 bucks uh, it comes with three different nozzles small medium and large I got I got I'm using the large you bought that over five years ago to clarify. Do they still can come I, that way? Can I? Okay. <laughs> well, you said you bought it and it doesn't clarify whether it's, it was. It still comes with it. But anyhow, so I bought it from uh, Harbor Freight about five years ago. Used it for several different rooms. It has 
three of these nozzles which you can interchange by just taking this taking this when you take this off there that's what the nozzles look like just put them back on there screw this back down on there I'm using the large nozzle which gives me the texture I like and you can use each one until you find the right one this is what lets your uh, mixture go down into this area all the way clockwise closes it off you want to go back about seven turns three four five six seven that's about the flow i want the reason i know this is because that's where i've had it at and that's where we found you know did the rest of the rooms at but when you hook up your air to it it's going to continuously shoot air you can get a ball valve and put a ball valve on here that way when you, you don't have to take your air hose on and off I don't have a problem taking my air hose on and off to keep the air from flowing once you got your hose on there and you squeeze this that's when the mixture starts dropping and the air pushes it out so we're, we're going to do now is uh, go to my compressor and hook up my hose I just got a small pancake compressor you want your you want to regulate your pressure to about 45 psi so the compressor's in the other room so you'll be able to hear me talk a little bit take your hood on there constant air that's when the mixture comes in you can take it off i take it off just find you something that you can use to dump your mixture into your hopper So now I got my hopper filled, fill it up to about this, this line right here. The hopper has a, it's halfway open. That way if you have to go at an angle, it doesn't come back out on your face. So as we will get started, we're gonna do this wall right here. So I'm going to spray it on this wall. I'm going to start on this end. This wall is not going to get textured. It's going with faux, faux brick. So I'm just going to spray this wall and then you want to let it sit for about 10-15 minutes before you start, start knocking it down.
right, so now we've got it all sprayed. We're gonna go down and uh, there's a knockdown on it. You want to, when you're doing it, this is technically a uh, wall covering tool. It's not really designed for this. Wall covering like wallpaper? No, it's for edging. You can do whatever you want everywhere. to with tools. They're multi-purpose. Yeah, it's a multi. You can multi. You can use it for the, doing the same thing. So, I've used it previous and it's given me great results. But they make the tool. They make tools, and you can get them at Walmart. Or uh, yeah, listen to me. You can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot. Knockdown tools. So we waited a good 10, 15 minutes, and we're going to start doing our knockdown. And because this wall is not being done, it's got some on it. I'm just going to give it a look and see what it looks like. And the harder you push, the more you're going to take off. So let's go right here. And you just want to drag across it. But I'm in a corner, so it makes it a little tighter. And you're going to get built up on it. That's the purpose. Ouch. Overlap your pull that way, you know, you're getting everything. Go over here and pull from over here. Just keep going. Some areas you may have to press a little harder. Start getting this build up on there. Uh, that's one.
Okay, so a room this size, you can do in about an hour. <clears throat> That's from start to finish. You spray on and then letting it set for about 10 to 15 minutes. The longer you let it set, the little harder it is to give you a different texture as well. Um, something you might want to play with to see what kind of texture you want. But 10 minutes, rule of thumb, gives you this kind of uh, pattern, this kind of knockdown, if you will. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to our page. And we will uh, see you next time when we do the faux wall, the painting, and uh, casing in the windows. Thank you.